Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we're just going to run through uh, two examples of stoichiometry problems. One of the things we're going to need today is a periodic table of elements. Anytime we're looking to find the average atomic mass of an element, we need to reference the periodic table. And we're going to be referencing the numbers that are at the bottom here, like a 127.6. For selenium, it would be 78.96. You know, just uh, be familiar with what you're looking at. We're the top number is atomic number, and we're going to key in on the atomic mass, which is the bottom. In order to be successful today, we're going to need to know the conversion factors we are using. And by now, you should have these memorized. The conversion factors for, you know, stoichiometry problems are going to be something like one mole of a substance over, over top of its atomic weight. And that's going to be expressed in grams. All right? And likewise, that could also be written as, you know, the atomic mass... over top of one mole. Uh, also important for us today could be uh, for say like 22.4 liters of a gas over one mole or one mole over top of 22.4 liters. You know we also sometimes use 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and that's where we reference atoms, molecules, and also formula units. And that's going to be over top of one mole. And likewise, that's the same as one mole over the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of the same thing. New to us um, in the last video was going to be the mole ratio. And the mole ratio, mole ratios have something that looks like this. So many moles of something over so many moles of something else. And you're going to have a symbol there, a number. Okay? But these conversion factors are going to be very important for us today. You need to have them memorized. They're going to equal success on these problems. In the first problem, what I want to know is how many liters of oxygen are needed in order to make 231 grams of calcium oxide. So let's check this out. How many liters of O2 are needed to make 231 grams of calcium oxide? So I'm giving you this. You're starting off with 231 grams of calcium oxide. And the question is asking how many liters. So I'm looking for a certain amount of liters of O2. Okay? So I'm kind of giving you some information here. The information I'm giving you, we're going to start off with. I'm going to write the givens out. And the givens written out correctly is going to be 231 grams of calcium oxide. That's a given. And I have to write out the whole thing. I can't just write out grams. I need to write out grams of calcium oxide of CaO. On the far side of the screen, I need to give my destination. I'm making a, a little map here. I'm going from CaO, and I'm going to end up, in this case, of liters of O2. So just putting down liters isn't good enough. I'm going to put down liters of O2. All right, let's get the problem going now, okay? One thing I usually do is, on the very last blank here, I tend to write down liters of O2 because they should match, okay? The last unit you have here should match that one, okay? What I'm going to do right now is backtrack two slides to the conversion factors. And I want to find a conversion factor that has liters on the top. So let's backtrack two slides. So here we go. Okay, so I'm looking for a conversion factor that has liters on the top. Now that one clearly has liters, and that one has liters, but I need the one that has liters on the top, and so this one is going to be the one I use. 22.4 liters over one mole. So over here, I'm going to write down, I'm going to match it. 22.4 liters of oxygen in one mole of O2. So when you when you look at the choices here you have, as we work the problem out, really the choices do come from our conversion factors we've expressed on this page. There's seven conversion factors that you really need to know. And when I look at this, I see I do have a, a grams of CaO here. Just by habit, I need to write down and cancel it out grams of CaO on the bottom. I need to go back now. And where do I see grams of something on the bottom? Okay, where do I see that? Well, I see grams in the bottom of an atomic mass. So it's going to be one mole on top and the atomic mass on the bottom. So it's going to be one mole. And we're going to say one mole of what? It's one mole of CaO on the top. And on the bottom, we're going to have to calculate the atomic weight of CaO. Let's go to the periodic table. So calcium has a weight of 40. We're going to go out to one decimal plate, 40.1. And oxygen has one of 15.9, so let's add them up, 
15.99. Okay, and let's get our answer. And it comes out to be 56.09, which I'm just going to round up to 56.1. Okay, so the atomic mass of CaO is 56.1. And I'm going to write that 56.1. Okay, grams of CaO have been canceled out. I'm now in moles of CaO. And my next conversion factor is going to have moles of CaO on top. I need to cancel it out down to the bottom with moles of CaO. And because I'm going into liters of O2, I need to have mole of O2. This actually is this step right here, the mole ratio, where I have moles of the first and moles of the second, and we get those numbers from the the balanced chemical equation, these coefficients. So for CaO, the coefficient I reference is 2. For oxygen, the coefficient I reference is 1. And now we're simply left with multiplying and dividing. How do I solve this? 231 times 1 times 1 times 22.4 divided by 56.1 and also divided by 2. Let's calculate that answer. And we end up getting 46.11764 and I'm just going to round that to 46.1. Another uh, key thing, when I finish my problem, let's recognize how many significant figures the problem started off with. I have three significant figures here. My answer cannot be reported to more significant figures than I originally had. So we're going to stick with 46.1 for three sig figs as well. So in order to produce 231 grams of calcium oxide, I'm going to need in my ingredient list 46.1 grams, or I'm sorry, 46.1 liters of oxygen. In the second and final problem today, it's going to be the same setup, where I have 231 grams of CaO, but in this case, we've already found out how much oxygen we need. Now we're going to find out how much calcium I need. Okay, Calcium is a solid metal, and the question is, how much of this solid metal do I need? The given is 231 grams of CaO, and the other given is going to be blank grams of calcium. Try this one on your own. Press pause. I'll come back and explain it. I'm going to start off by writing the givens. The givens are always expressed on the sides. 231 grams of CaO. I think of this as a road map telling me where I'm going to go, and my destination is going to be blank grams of calcium. And because I have calcium written there, I'm going to write down grams of calcium written right here. And I know from the last slide that there is 40.1 grams of calcium in one mole of calcium. And I know over here from the last slide the atomic mass of calcium oxide, let's go back and check it out, was well, going to be 56.1 grams. So I'm going to use 56.1. and one mole of CaO. Awesome. Grams of calcium oxide have been canceled. I'm in moles of CaO. That means I need to see moles of CaO on the bottom in order to cancel that out. So let's cancel it out with mole of CaO. And what goes on top is going to be moles of Ca, because that is where I'm going to. All right, so if I check this out now, I got two moles of calcium for every two moles of calcium oxide. And here's the problem. The problem is actually done. We're just left now with uh, working it out. Let's just make sure first that every unit cancel out along the way. Okay, I'm looking for grams of CaO on top, grams of CaO on the bottom. Mole of CaO on top. Let's divide by moles of CaO. They're canceled. Now I have moles of calcium on top. I need to get rid of that. I'm going to divide by it, and I have moles of Ca on the bottom. And lastly, does my unit grams, that's just right here, match the ending? It definitely does. Let's calculate this. And the answer reported to three significant figures is going to be 165 grams of calcium. So right now I have 165 grams of calcium is needed in order to produce 231 grams of calcium oxide. In addition to the last slide, we saw 46.1 liters of oxygen. Oxygen comes in a gas form. Calcium becomes in a solid form, so 165 grams of solid calcium will react with 46.1 liters of gaseous oxygen to produce 231 grams of calcium oxide. You know, and just a little bit of a tip here, guys. You're going to notice that along the way here, we do have some common things. Uh, in that first uh, setting right here, in this first place we write, we have calcium oxide. 
You're also going to see calcium oxide appear in that box, a mole of calcium oxide. This is grams of calcium oxide, and you're going to see mole of calcium oxide. And it's just a pattern that you tend to see is that from here over here going up and over, those are all going to be part of the very first given. The very first given was calcium oxide. So the first four boxes deal with calcium oxide. The last four boxes are going to deal with where I'm going into. In this case, I'm going into calcium. Last four boxes deal with calcium, and the first box of that is right there. There's calcium. And I'm also going to highlight the fact that calcium appears here. Calcium is down there. And calcium appears in the very last box. So in a way, there's eight places to write things. The problem goes from calcium oxide over to calcium. And so half the problem has to deal with calcium. And the other half of the problem deals with calcium oxide. And if you think of eight boxes, four belong to the calcium oxide, and the last four belong to calcium. Anyway, guys, I hope the video helped. Tune in next time. Until then, later.